Today we're going to talk about this guy. It's maybe the best modern daily carry bag I own. Let's get into it. So, today's bag is the Wandered Duo. So, Wandered is a company uh, based in Utah, and it's uh, it was started by a couple of guys who are photographers, and from what I can gather, kind of like adventure enthusiasts. Um, unfortunately, that's not really me, but uh, I would say Wandered kind of parallels peak design in a lot of ways when it comes to bags and, and accessories and things like that. Um, of course, Peak Design started in with their strap system and all that kind of stuff, but uh, Wandered more started with, with the bag side. And uh, actually, the bag they started with is over there. But these are both Kickstarter, kind of Kickstarter-based companies. And uh, I've been a huge fan of Wandered bags. I have the bag now packed out for daily carry mode. So basically, this is like what I would put in this bag to go to work, to come home, and to just kind of go about my daily routine. Um, a lot of you will know I'm a photographer, and this bag has a kind of a, I guess you'd call it a magic trick? Something it does that makes it amazing for photography. Oh, uh, when we talk about this bag, I'm gonna go over basically in detail what functions the bag has. I'm gonna tell you why I think it's an amazing bag, and I'm also gonna tell you why I don't use it that much anymore. So let's talk about it. Let's start with the looks. So the bag is one of those bags that will not be for everybody. Uh, in my case, I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the best looking bags there is right now. Um, some people don't like the way this kind of duck bill thing on the top looks here. I think it looks really cool and classy and it's got like that it's like the one bag I own that when I look at it in the corner, I'm always like, man, that bag looks great. And I think it's got a bit of um, almost like a, a modern, like, like, a, like the modern aesthetic that you really want. Something that would come from a video game, something that would come from something like that. That's what I feel when I look at this bag. And I, I think it looks great. Uh, the material, the material is a, uh, it's a junior ballistic nylon. So it's not like 1680, D or something like that, although it is 1680D on the bottom here, you know, where the bag will get most of its scrapes and things like that. Uh, the bag feels good. I mean, if you compare it to the old modern, the old wandered bags that were kind of rubbery, uh, this one is definitely a lot more, it feels a lot more like a material, like, like a bag, like a bag would. And uh, aside from that, I think it looks great. And let's get into the pockets, right? The outside pockets. So there is a slip pocket here in the front of the bag. Uh, these zippers are all YKK water sealed zippers. Um, there's a magic a magic zipper on this bag that goes the whole way around, but we'll get in that, into that in a bit. Uh, these zips are, like I said, YKK. They're like a number eight or something like that. This one might be a number five. They have this like locking mechanism. So like supposedly if it's like this, you can't really move it, but it seems like I can still move it. So. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, uh, they feel nice enough. They're they're not as smooth as like a number ten YKK zip on like a a bag like a my recycled firefighter bags or something like that. They don't feel as smooth, but the weather sealing kind of, you know, it, that's the reason for that. So this pocket is really flat, not a lot going on. Um, the material inside feels great. It's this ripstop nylon. I think it's like 420D or something like that. Uh, normally on a day to day basis, I don't put much in here, like extra masks, you know, 2020, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's really flat, so I find like when you put something in here big, the this part like bulges out and it looks kind of bad, and plus it stops the bag from easily standing up on its own. So right now you can see the bag's kind of standing up on its own, but if you put something fat in here, it sort of tugs it that way. So I try not to put too much in here aside from small things like that. On this side, there is a water bottle pocket. Water bottle pocket is really deep, really nice. I don't have a water bottle here to show you, but just take my word for it, it fits like almost any water bottle you could want. I even stuck a lens in there the other day and it fit perfectly fine. Um, it's like a Pentax 16 to 50 2.8. I mean, it's not anything fancy, but it's, you know, it's quite a large lens and it fit in there fine for just what I was using it for. 
Uh, if you go around the other side, there is something here that I really like, which is this grab handle. Now it's only on one side because of the water bottle. Um, and the grab handle, the grab handle feels nice. It's padded. It, you know, you can carry around the bag like this for a short time. I find that I use this mostly just for like two, three minutes where I just kind of grab it and chuck it somewhere, or I just want to grab the bag and move it. It's not something I would like really carry the bag with, but the top of the bag, quick access on the top right here. It's also a YKK zip. It's uh, an aqua sealed zip. I think it's a number five and it opens like so. Um, it's fleece lined, which is nice. Thank you, Wander. Uh, I put my wallet and my AirPods in there on a, in a normal day. Like I said, set up now, daily carry mode. It's not set up for camera, photography, that kind of thing. There's this little key thingy here that uh, spins around, works fine. I've never actually used one of these for anything, but it's there if you need it. Uh, one thing about this pocket is that the space kind of goes up into this duckbill looking thing. So there's actually a bit more space than you think for sunglasses or something like that. Now, if you go around to the back, around the back of the bag, there is a pull handle here. The pull handle is just webbing that's like wrapped around itself and sewed. It feels perfectly fine. It feels nice. It feels much nicer than a lot of the bags that I normally use, which are much simpler. Um, I think it feels good. Uh, the one thing I will say is it kind of droops like this and sometimes it gets like on my back. So when I'm wearing the bag, I'll feel it against my back and I don't like that. I kind of wish it was, maybe if it was here or, or something, it would be a bit better. I don't like when I put it on and it's against my back. Doesn't happen all the time, does happen once in a while. Straps. Straps are dense foam. They're not very thick. They are wide. Um, they are contoured so they will go around your shoulders and feel nice. I do think that uh, some of my other straps like on my recycled firefighter bag and even the old wandered bag are a little bit more comfortable but then this bag is a 20 liter day pack. It's not meant to be carried for super long distances. Uh, there is a sternum strap if you need it. It's adjustable with a uh, little, you know, you gotta like move it and move it and pull it out and put it in and it's never come out on me i've actually never used it so i don't know maybe i should take it out i didn't even think about it to be honest there are some strap keepers here the the hardware on this bag is actually i believe from nilfco which i think is a japanese brand and uh it seems nice enough the, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. The back panel itself is somewhat structured. Um, I will say, and I'll show you on my other Wandered bag shortly, that this stuff is the same basic stuff that's on my Wandered bag, my, uh, my Wandered Provoke, which is another Wandered bag. And it has kind of worn through after a couple of years, so I do worry about whether or not this will wear through at some point. Uh, hope it doesn't, but, you know, I... I I, did, I hope it wouldn't on my other one, and it did, and, and uh, so that's something to be careful of. Uh, a lot of my other bags don't have this type of foam on the back. Now, it feels good. It feels nice. It's good when you carry. feels good, but, you know, it, if it wears through in a couple of years, it wears through. Now, that doesn't make my other bag not usable, but it's a bit ugly, and it looks a bit worn, so there's that. There is a luggage pass-through for those of you who are those kind of guys who carry one of those roller things. I'm not, and the reason one in my life, I don't know. There is also a passport pocket here, which is impossible to show in the camera, but you can imagine it's actually on the back panel. So it's on this side, not this side. And it's basically the exact size of like a passport. <laughs> a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, longer, sorry, a little bit longer than a passport. Uh, it's perfect if you're one of those guys who like to hide your stuff in your bag. I used to be. I used to love those pockets. I've kind of changed the way I carry things, so again, your mileage may vary. This bag actually <laughs> opens clamshell, kind of. So there are there is a number 8 YKK zip that goes the entire way around the bag. It's aqua sealed, which is cool, except it makes it not super smooth you got to kind of tug it around corners 
Um, if you're here in my video, you've probably seen the Chase Reeves video of this, or you're just one of my followers from Instagram who's really annoyed that I'm doing bag videos all the time. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, if you pull it around a corner, uh, it can be annoying, but if you just basically pull it down to the bottom, like so, it opens clamshell. So I tend to use it like this in daily carry mode. I'll open it maybe this, this much. I'll open the zippers to maybe here and I'll pull out what I need. Uh, what I'm gonna show you now is basically why I don't really need a bag like this anymore. So let's look at it from this angle. So I'm gonna put the flap down so you can basically see the inside. I basically have gotten to the point, I've said basically like four times in a row. Sounds terrible. So the first thing you'll probably see is there's tons of organization in this bag. I mean tons. There are pockets all along this edge, all along this edge. There's a zip pocket here. There's like these two lens pockets here. There's a tablet sleeve, a laptop sleeve, all kinds of stuff. And you know what? I use none of them because I'm got, I've gotten to the point in my carry where I carry one pouch or two, one or two pouches, something like this. And then I carry my computer and that's the end. So all of these pockets are empty. So if you're one of those guys who like doesn't like to use pouches, but likes to have their bag be the giant pouch, there's no better bag right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, man. This bag is amazing. It's like a tech pouch the size of a bag. But I just don't live like that anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't carry my things like that anymore. So for me, it doesn't work as well as it might for somebody else. Now, the magic trick of this bag is this part here. So in daily carry mode, I, d I tend to put it like this. I put my pouch down here in the bottom, zip up, and I'm gone. That's it, that's how my day goes. Zip up, gone, bag here, gone, blah, blah, blah. Now, this bag has one super use for me, and that's when I am in the mood to go out and take pictures, especially when I'm shooting film. Because um, if I'm shooting film, I have usually one camera, a couple of rolls of film, maybe a flash or something like this, depending on which camera I'm using. And this, can this bag suits that perfectly because right here is the magic trick. This thing pops up. Now you've got a camera cube inside your bag that was just gone. Pop this on top, daily, ooh. Maybe I should put my camera in there first. But you can imagine, pop this on top, now you have basically daily carry, plus camera, plus everything else I just showed you, and I didn't have to add a camera cube. It's kind of amazing, to be honest. It's, it's kind of amazing. And then, I don't want any more, I plop it down, this on top, this up, daily carry mode for going to the office. That's why this bag is sick. Now I'm gonna pack it out for my camera stuff, and let's have a look at it that way. I'm gonna tell you in a little bit like why I don't use this bag as a daily carry bag very often, even though I just showed you what it would look like if I did. The reason is I, I'm ten, I tend towards a different type of bag, and we'll talk about that in a bit, but as a camera bag, this bag is pretty killer, and I would not hesitate to recommend this to literally anybody who's in the market for like a modern, cool camera bag. Now, one thing I didn't mention before I thought is these zip pulls are amazing. So they have like these finger things that you can just kind of pull around. It's great. I find it works perfectly great and it makes it very easy to tug on these zippers around corners and things like that. So the bag is packed out in what I would call camera bag mode. Now, let me try it on so you can see. Hopefully you can actually see that. I don't know if the camera angle means makes it look like you can't. But one of the things that's cool about this bag is you can pull it around like this, open it up from the side, and you can get your camera. Magic. So basically how that works is this. So the bag is set up like this, right? Looks like a bag. Nothing special. Everything I just showed you completely works. Now at the end of the last part, I showed you the camera cube on the bottom. 
So if we open it from the top, if we open it from the top like this, everything looks the same. You've got your cube here, you've got your daily carry pouch here, and blah, 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 blah. Right? It's normal. Now I close it like this. As you just saw me swing it around my back, there are four zipper pulls along this zipper. So there is also one here and a couple on the top. If you just pull this zipper pull, say this much, you are in to where your camera sits. So this is the camera I use most often. This is my Rolleiflex. So my Rolleiflex happens to fit like, I mean, like a glove. Like, can you see that? It is like made for this camera, like the perfect size. And that's why when I'm using this camera, I use this bag quite often. And that's because it fits in there so nicely. And then I'm off to the races. Rolly flex gone. Now what I normally do is uh, Wander give you a divider that you can stick anywhere along the inside of this pouch. There's also like these, um, these flaps that come and cover this part. I don't use them. This is already covering it. It doesn't matter to me that much, but you can cover it here if you really want to. The parts, the dividers that go in the middle help because then on the other side, I can put another film camera or I don't know, my headphones or something like this. So you can then open up this side and you can have another camera in this side or a lens or a whatever or a whatever or a whatever. Vlogging camera, mic. Vlogging camera, second lens, blah, 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 whatever you want. Film camera, uh, when I use this for the Hasselblad, I'll have like a Hasselblad body in, in here and I'll have like another lens on the other side or another back, another film back. I don't like taking this stuff out of this pouch and changing it out for photography stuff, that's dumb. What I like to do is, what I find cool about this bag is this part. So if you look over here, there are these two things on this side that are actually meant for cables, but they perfectly fit 120 millimeter film rolls for quick access. Thanks, Wander. One and two, Ilford HP5, don't leave home without it. Under there, I normally pack uh, this guy. This is a close focusing lens. Uh, this goes on the Wander, uh, on the Wandered, on the Rolleiflex, and this just allows for some close focusing. So that's basically it for how I use this bag. I don't do anything special <laughs> other than that with it. Um, if you have a look at the inside of the bag, there are these two pockets here. These pockets are meant for like lenses or accessories. They're padded on, to, on the front and they have elastic everywhere. There's like a zipper pocket here that's super flat. You can't really use it for much. They're on both of these wings, there are there's a, a slip pocket here, uh, kind of a stretchy pocket here, a zippered pocket on the bottom. On this side, the film thing I just showed you, which is actually meant for cables. There is a elastic pocket and then another slip pocket here. Front of the bag, there's a slip pocket, like a mesh pocket that you can just throw your hat into or something like that. Sorry for going through that quick, but um, this video is not going to be 58 minutes like the last one, I hope. Uh, top, there is a laptop sleeve here. Laptop sleeve can take a 15 inch laptop, but unfortunately it's not raised up off the bottom. So your laptop is, I mean, there's a little bit of padding, but you know, it's not raised up. What I tend to do is just carry my iPad and stick it in this iPad slot. With the other bags I'm going to show you, I have to really put my iPad in like a sleeve. This one I don't have to, which is great. I just stick it in there, done, game over. Howdy doody. The Wandered Duo. I actually really like this bag. Uh, I don't use it as much as I probably should, but what I will say is it is the first bag I recommend to anybody who only carries a couple cameras with them because it's priced well, it feels durable, Wander has a lifetime warranty, and it just covers a lot of bases. It's a gr really nice daily carry bag and a really nice camera bag. Uh, for me, I would take this any day over the Peak Design everyday bag. I just find this looks a little bit better. The Peak Design bag, I find it, it's got that look of like um, Instagram camera meetup, guys, let's go kind of stuff. And everybody shows up at the coffee shop with their Peak Design everyday bags. I mean, I guess it's a testament to how popular it is, but I just, I want to be different, you know? I want to be different. 
Let's talk about some other bags that I use in lieu or instead of this one. So the first thing you can do instead of the Wandered is you could use another Wandered, which is this one. This is the Provokey, not the Provokey. The Provoke. Chase Reeves calls it a Proverky, so I got confused. But yes, this is the Provoke. I use this bag for a long time. I love it. The thing is with this bag is that it's like a full-on camera bag most of the time. And if you don't want it to be a camera bag, it's a bit annoying. Because you gotta like grab stuff out and take stuff out and all that kind of thing. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about what I meant about it wearing down. I don't know how well you can see this here, but there's some wear on these spots. And this material feels almost exactly the same as the other one. So chances are it'll probably happen to that one too. Like I said, it doesn't really affect anything, but it's there in case that worries you. This is a roll top bag, so you can carry a ton of stuff in the top. Like so, boom, you can have your camera here, tons of stuff up here. But then at that point, you're starting to look like this. And that might work for some people. It doesn't really work for me on a daily basis and I don't carry enough camera gear on a daily basis to warrant carrying this bag. What I tend to do if I really need one bag only and I need my camera gear in that one bag and I need to get my camera gear quickly, camera gear quickly, then I'll use this bag because it's like a proper camera bag. So just insert proper camera bag here and then any of those bags will do that. It opens from the back like this. It opens up, you got your camera cube. Camera sits in here, blah, camera in, close, zipper up, adventure time. It has all the other stuff like a laptop sleeve and secret pockets and flaps and do jobbies and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it does have this cool feature where, let me, again, these zippers are, I know everybody harps on these zippers, but they are a little bit annoying to open and close. Although I find you do get used to them. Uh, so this bag has like a side access point, which works well. You can just like open it up, take out your camera, and you're rocking. What I will say is that the Duo, the, the infinite zip on the Duo does basically the exact same thing. So if you don't have a lot of camera gear and you don't need the roll top to have like hundreds of things, for your camping trip or whatever, then the Duo will be probably better. And I find the Duo looks a little bit better in like an office environment or something like that. This looks like you are climbing a mountain and you happen to fall into the office on the way. Wandered Provoke, great pack, great bag, a little bit expensive. I really like it, I used it for a long time. But again, you know, if you want more details about it, uh, check out their website. When I'm in a different kind of mood, I'll probably use something like this. This is the Incase Ari Macropolis uh, Markopolis. Yeah, Ari Markopolis. Markopolis. Ari Markopolis. Yeah, that guy. Uh, this is their sling bag. Now, this bag is uh, it's old now. I mean, it's been around for like years and years and years. It's a sling bag, but it's the size of a backpack. So basically, like. If you're using this, you might as well have a backpack. I find for daily carry, it doesn't work so well. My big, uh, my big Peak Design pouch barely fits in there. It's like all, you know, like this. And But I could, you know, get away with say, Peak Design pouch, tech pouch thing, and then like my camera in here. And then there's like a place to put my laptop up here or my tablet. So it could work for that kind of thing. What I tend to use this bag for, honestly, is storage. This is my camera storage. So I know where my film cameras all the time because they live in this bag. So basically this bag is my camera cabinet. And if I am lazy, I will just grab this bag and go instead of actually grabbing anything else. And yeah, I, it's, a, it's a nice enough bag. I don't know what to say about it. Uh, again, I plan to have a review on this one just because one person asked me for it and I feel like that's enough to do a review. It's, this is the leather version. You'll see it in gray a lot, but uh, I actually really like this bag. Um, I'm not much of a sling guy. So the sling part kind of bothers me and I find I don't, I don't tend to want to grab a sling, but like I said before, when I need it, it's there and my camera's living here. So thanks in case. I'm gonna start by saying this is probably my favorite camera bag ever and it will not be everybody's favorite camera bag and there are tons of reasons why you should not buy this bag but i love it this is the ona clifton in camo something 
brown leather. The leather feels amazing and supple. The zippers are not YKK or anything like that, even though this bag costs like $400, but they are really smooth. Like, I mean like, they're just, they feel so, it's really hard to explain, but they feel really smooth, the zippers. You only need one hand, one hand. Well, I said that now it's caught, but yeah, you, it's just, they feel great. But the bag itself, it, you know, it has like a laptop sleeve here that you can maybe jam a 13 inch laptop into if you're lucky. My iPad fits in there just fine. There are these water bottle pockets that are useless for anybody other than a baby and even a baby couldn't fit their water bottle in there. There, it comes with these camera cubes like this, which are mostly useless for like big cameras, but work great for small cameras. More about this in a second. For me, daily carry, pouch, in, laptop, in, wallet, wallet, in, headphones, in, boom, I'm gone, work. Straps are nothing special, leather straps, some mesh on the back. You know, I don't know what to say about this. It's like this canvasy stuff, but it's just such a nice bag. The feel of it is great. It's, it's, it literally is, I think, my favorite bag, or one of my favorite bags, and it's my one of my favorite bags, and it's kind of hard to recommend just because it's so expensive and so simple compared to that. Compared to that duo, this is like this is like a Volkswagen Beetle, and that's like a BMW M5 or something like that. So, but somehow this Beetle costs twice as much. I still love my Beetle. I'm gonna use this bag as an, ex as an example for everything I wanna talk about uh, with regards to the reason I don't use the Wander Duo every day. And that's because, well, I simply have started to like simpler bags. I don't, I, I feel weird about the fact that the Wander has tons and tons of pockets that I don't use, that they're just there. I, I don't, I somehow I feel like I don't want the pockets to be there because I'm not gonna use them. It sounds crazy, sounds weird. For most people that is not the case and that's why I recommend the Wander to most people. This is the Topo Designs Day Pack in Ballistic Nylon, made in the USA. It was in my last video. I was actually kind of harsh on it in my last video because there's some things I don't love about it, but it represents something. And it represents a simple everyday bag made of beautiful materials made by hand that just works. And there's something to be said about that. The Wander just works too. It just, it feels almost too refined in some ways. Whereas this has a feel of like care and soul, which I mean, that has a feel of care and soul too, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think it's just a little bit too techy for my current setup. So this bag, Topo, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I talked about it a ton in the last video. I was too hard on it, I think. I actually like this bag quite a bit. It's got these number 10 YKK zips here and here. Super simple bag. Front, this has pocket here, nothing. Cavernous pocket, wallet, headphones, glasses, done. Don't need to think about anything else. Sometimes hard to get in there if it's packed out, but daily bag, doesn't matter much. Big YKK number 10 here too. Feels great to zip and unzip. Real leather down here, by the way. Feels nice. Not as nice as that owner, oh, no, but nice. It opens like this. It's not clamshell, doesn't open all the way. I tend to prefer clamshell bags like the Recycled Firefighter Chief, which was in my last video, but this bag also, very nice. I actually really like it. Uh, there is pack cloth on the inside. Feels good. I just stick my pouch. Peak Design pouch in the bottom. Let me just show you, Peak Design pouch, I have a, uh, basically my whole life is in here. I put everything in here right down to my deodorant, which is made for women. Smells nice. And yeah, I have like, you know, everything daily care you can imagine I need, it goes in here. And I even use the back pocket of this as a kind of a secret pocket replacement for my passport and some other stuff I need. So this is like my whole life lives in this pouch. I, I have two or three pouches around this size that I kind of alternate between depending on which bags I'm using. So just think about this as a placeholder, but I do like this one because it's almost the perfect shape for the bottom of every single bag 
that you'll ever own because it just it's almost like it fits perfectly down there to people that complain about it being big i get confused because i find it fits perfectly down there and it makes like a shelf something else on top of it man you know inside this bag a couple of pockets zippered compartment laptop slash ipad sleeve that has no padding whatsoever so that was one thing i was mentioning about the, the wandered wandered laptop stuff is so much nicer than this i mean like thousand percent nicer this is literally just a sleeve to put it in so i usually put my ipad in another sleeve and then in here which is one extra step which is kind of annoying considering i use this bag for simplicity there it is this is the topo design day pack now when i use a bag like this you're probably thinking well josh how do you use cameras with that bag well that's a great question let me answer it for you something like this this is that ona from that ona bag it is a camera cube. It opens like this, camera goes inside. Camera inside. Camera inside. Zipper up. This in bag. Done. Topo Designs camera bag. But yeah, you know, it's, it's, I, I mean, I say that jokingly, but really it's like, you know, you get a camera cube, you stick it in and then that's all you really have to do. Nothing special, right? The thing that makes this better than what I just showed you with that topo bag and, and this sort of thing is that this is more convenient. It's faster. If you just have the feeling to, to, to take a photo, I don't know why I zip these down here. You just want to take a photo. It's like, boom. Boom, camera out, dude. You're not like taking this out of the bag, putting it down, opening it up, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to do that with this bag. But, real talk here. If you're a photographer and taking photos is what you're trying to do, then there's only one place where your camera is truly always accessible, and that is around your neck or in your hand. So for me, if I'm really like, I'm going to take photos, my camera is around my neck or in my hand. If it's in this wander, in this pocket, or if it's in that topo, in this bag, or in that Ona, in this bag, it really makes no difference to me whatsoever because in the end, if I really wanted it, if I really wanted my camera out, I would have had it out. And if I don't, then I guess I'll just use this. Food for thought. So that's about all for this video. Now, um, if you have any questions about the, the Wandered, let me know. Like I said, even though I don't use it that much on a daily basis these days, I do think it's probably the best daily modern backpack that I own for somebody who, you know, wants to have their camera sometimes, wants to have a daily tech bag other times. It's perfect for that. And I think it's probably one of the best daily bags you can get right now. Uh, but, you know, there it goes. And if, you, if you're even thinking about getting one, I would say just get it because there's nothing negative about this bag enough that would make me not want to buy it. It's a great bag. And so are the other ones I mentioned today, but you know, that's kind of how it goes. Life goes on. Gonna have a baby soon. So there's that. It's kind of scary, kind of exciting. I think all these bags are gonna become diaper bags, so. Speaking of diaper bags, the next bag of the next video I'm going to talk about is a $1,000 Wotan Craft leather backpack that is just like, I guess you'll have to see. Bye-bye, kids.